If you can see behind me, we divided the court into four quarters, or four quadrants. And we can use this small obstacle course to do a number of ball control drills. And it's a good way to test our control and our movement. So if you're alone or if you just have an idea for drills for your players or you want to test out your players and your coaches, you can test their ball control and movement ability in the sand with this simple obstacle course. I've placed the ball cart in the middle. For some people it might be a little dangerous, for me it teaches them a lesson, but you can use a circle or you can create another square in the middle to make sure that people aren't just using the four corner spot in the middle of the court. We'd like them to have to move heavier, so I put a ball cart in the middle of the court and that forces players to move in bigger distances. Uh, you can design this drill how you like though. The first part of the obstacle course we have is just one forearm pass in each quadrant. Okay, We have to have two feet in the box before the pass for it to count. Okay, You can't step on the lines, you can't have one foot remaining in the other quadrant, and you can't be jumping into a quadrant, quadrant as you're passing the ball. So it's one pass in each with two forearms. Right? I'm right here, I start in zone one, and it's one, two, three, four. Pretty simple, pretty basic, but it's tougher and tougher. So test yourself with that first and then we'll move on. Our second quadrant drill is going to be pass and then set to the next quadrant. Pass to yourself, set into the next quadrant. Two arm, four arm pass, hand set to the next quadrant. Right. Once you've completed four quadrants, the drill is complete. Try it with two forearm passes in each quadrant. Once you've gotten two forearm passes in each quadrant with two feet in each box, you've completed the drill. Hey guys, if you think you're getting a lot out of this video, go ahead and click the link below. I've got a full on 19 video serve receive course waiting for you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video, but if you wanna dive a little bit deeper into instruction, go ahead and click the link under the video. We're going to increase the number of touches we have in each box. So now we have three touches in each box, but we have a forearm pass, a two-handed handset, and again, a forearm pass. So three touches in each box and you have to stay in order. Pass, set, pass to the next quadrant. Take a look. Simple ball control, three touches in each quadrant. Make sure your feet are in the correct spot. We're going to start adding some emergency touches to our quadrant drill, our obstacle course. So the next one that we have is pass, tomahawk, pass to the next quadrant. It might look simple, but give it a shot and see if you can go four for four. We're gonna add some more ball control to our quadrant drill. So our first touch is going to maybe put us in trouble and it's gonna be any one-armed contact. As a coach or as a player, you can choose the contact that you're weakest at. For some people, it's gonna be one-arm forearm. For other people, it's gonna be a backhanded flipper or maybe a pokey. But it has to be a one-arm contact for the first contact. Then pass and set to the next quadrant. So one arm, two arm, forearm pass, and a hand set. One, two, three. One, oh. Starting again. One arm, two arm, and set. 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 It might look easy, but try it on your own. I promise it's difficult. One arm, two forearm pass, and then a set. The last part of our quadrant drill is gonna be your final exam, okay? and it involves almost every touch that we have. Two forearms, single forearm, single forearm. Set, single pokey, single pokey. Tomahawk to the next quadrant. 
two, one, one, two, one, one, tomahawk. 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 Get all of those touches in all of the quadrants and you've completed the obstacle course. Good luck.